out in the wilderness. I love having night vision. That's why I picked up this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I have had night vision monoculars in the past. They are usually pretty expensive, but night vision has come a long way to make it more usable for people, cheaper, more affordable. And so I picked up this because this is a set of night vision binoculars. It's actually from Woe Sports, which I have used some of their golf equipment. And I've been impressed with their stuff because it's been really good quality and very affordable. And something like this is a lot cheaper than night vision of the past. But the way they do this is kind of build that into digital binoculars here so what I want to show you here on these NV 400 night vision goggles you can use them during the day as binoculars too so that's what's really cool about them you get this hard-sided case it's pretty small it's kind of like a small pair of binoculars but kind of looks like an electronics case like something you would carry your cords in when you go traveling and stuff you got a little loop here we have a zipper around the top it's actually fairly nice i'm always impressed by how much you get at this price point point. and if we flip it open we have a mesh pocket right there we have looks like a loop to go around your neck so you don't have to worry about dropping them or if you just kind of put them down so that you can manipulate stuff we also have a usb to usb c slash thunderbolt cable right there we also have a variety of cleaning wipes we also have, what I'm really excited about here is actually a 32 gig micro SD card. So that's what you're gonna use to store the images on. You can actually take photos and video with this. So that's how I'm gonna be able to show you what I see in there. And then we actually have what looks like a little jump drive here, but this is an SD card slot jumper. So you can take it out of the night vision binoculars, put it in here, plug it into your computer. Actually, they give you everything you need right out of the box. I have some of these things because I've used them with GoPros, but the nice thing about this is everything you need is right here in this box so again pretty nice value you don't have to worry about having an sd card that is the correct format or size for it now here is the set of binoculars itself and what i love is that they have this stormtrooper like color scheme it actually looks like a giant golf monocular and the black portions right here have some texture you can see they have little dots all over it and they are very rubbery and grippy so you're not gonna have to worry about this thing flying out of your hand that feels good in the hand man oh yeah you have the buttons up here power button up down okay we also have a mode button right there i'll show you all of that that's how you get from photos to videos etc to night vision and then you can take pictures you can go through the stored pictures with these up and down buttons you also have focus and zoom up here which is nice flip it over onto this side what we have here is a quarter inch screw hole so you can put this on a tripod on this side, it looks like this is how we can control the IR focus. So we can kind of make it a little broader or more of a projector beam. On the fronts here, we have covered in plastic, the two lenses. So this will be your IR blaster and this will be the camera. So in bright light, it should just be basically like looking through a video camera lens, but at night we should have a night vision image right there. We also have the two little tiny D rings on this side and this side for that neck lanyard. We have a little pull away cover right there. So that's where we will charge it, USB-C, as well as the SD card slot right in there. And on this end, we have kind of a soft rubber or silicone that will go around your eyes here to block out any light. You can see we have a screen Again, covered in plastic. Oh yeah, so satisfying. And then we have a digital screen. So when looking into this, it's kind of like looking at a giant screen kind of floating in front of you. So it's not like looking through a pair of binoculars where you have two different images. Your both eyes will be looking at one screen in there. So that's what that will look like. Definitely kind of looks like something out of Star Wars. That's for sure. So if I put this up to my eyes, even though I have a big head, look at that, so cool. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get the SD card slot in here. I'm gonna charge it up, and then we're gonna head out into these woods here and see what we see today and tonight. And the first thing you're gonna do here is hold down this power button to fire them up, and you can kind of see the screen in there. Hold it down, you can see Whoa Sports. You can see that screen kind of at the back of this little hallway in there. And I would say if you are nearsighted, these are probably going to work well for you. But if you are farsighted and you don't have your reading glasses on, uh, it might be a little hard to see because it doesn't really like float way out in the distance. I mean, it's like a screen that is, I don't know, six inches from your face. So just something to keep in mind here. But now if I raise these up, right, so we look out there, what you can see here is the backyard right out there. So that's kind of what it looks like when you are looking through the device. But what I'm gonna show you here, and I'll record it on board here, is zooming in and focusing with these 
rings over here so that you can see what it's like looking through these in more detail. All right, so the first test I thought we would do is take a look through my window here out at the backyard, just kind of look around and see what it looks like inside of the binoculars during the midday here. Pretty bright, pretty bright out for sure. All right, so all you do is hit that middle button and it will start recording or it will activate the feature that you are set on. So in this case, in video mode, you just hit that middle button and it will start recording, hit it again, and it'll stop recording. If you are on photo mode, it will take a photo at that time. Now, another thing that I didn't know that I want to let you know is that there is a microphone on board the set of binoculars because when you start recording video, it will record the audio with it. Now, the audio isn't great. I'm dubbing my voice over the video that I shot here, but I actually wasn't sure. I didn't want to speak through the whole video and then find out that it wasn't capturing any audio. So right now you can see that we can see the backyard. And what I actually like about this is that the zoom is optical. You can actually adjust that with your fingers. And what you don't get is like that zooming in effect and really large pixels. All right. So we know these things work as binoculars, but what I am sure you are curious about is how well do these things work at night? So let's try them in the dark. All right, I'm standing in my hallway here. I've turned off all the local lights. There is a light down this hall that is still on, so it's not pitch black. And there's actually a Christmas tree over here that has lights on it. But I just want to show you because I want to use the Wolf Sports night vision to kind of walk through the house. You might be saying, hey, can I use this inside? Can I use it in more confined space? And so I just want to show you what that's going to be like. So not totally dark. As you can see, this tree is producing some light here, but this is what this looks like. You know, here's my kitchen, here's uh, the table, there's a little sitting room over there. You know, not perfectly dark, but one thing I will look at is in this closet right here, my pantry, because this is totally dark in there. But I will just kind of give you a tour of what this looks like inside if you are looking around, say, a house, and then the lights are on, obviously, over there. But back here and let's start. All right, so same drill, but now I have it switched to the night vision mode. You can absolutely see that circle of infrared light that is projecting. And I would say inside that light emitter is quite bright, it's quite powerful. Now, one of the things that I kind of notice here is that when everything is at the same depth or distance from you inside, uh, most of the time you don't have to play with the focus that much because it's just not, something that you have to adjust as much as you might outside. Um, the other thing that I would say is that inside, you can really see the difference when you change the infrared emitter kind of to that pencil beam uh, versus the flood beam. And I would say inside, because it's so powerful, that flood is probably the way you wanna go. Actually, inside the pantry here, where I keep my booze, it's super dark. I mean, it is pitch black. You can't see anything in here without some sort of artificial light. And as you can see, you can see it fine there with the uh, infrared emitter on there. So yeah, I can scan the house pretty well with this. If you're sweeping your house, looking for an animal that's wandered inside, this is a good way to do it without kind of shining a flashlight everywhere. All right, guys, I'm out here in the back. It is dark. There might be a little moon, but it's so overcast that you can't really tell. Um, I see a little bit of light coming from some of the other areas of the city here, but I've got my headlamp on. You might be able to see that there because I would just stumble all over everything if I were just walking out here because it is so dark. Now, that being said, I think this is a perfect test for this Woe Sports night vision because right now I'm going to go ahead and power this little guy up and we are going to see whatever we see out here and hopefully there are... Maybe some critters, but no killer clowns because that would make two killer clowns out here. <laughs> All right, let's get this thing powered up. Check it out. So I'll get this thing in night vision mode and the infrared illuminator on. I am standing just on the edge of my property here by the tree line and just kind of want to show you what it looks like when we are looking into things like bushes and trees and things that are close to me. And one of the things that I notice here is that Again, I mentioned the infrared illuminator is bright, but it is the brightest I've ever had in any night vision product. And I've had some of the standard, you know, old Russian military surplus ones, the night owl one. This one is just by far 
the brightest. It's like a tactical flashlight level of brightness. In most cases, the other ones that I've used are kind of buried behind this little tiny lens. They're not super bright. You know, anything beyond 15, 20 feet, they just get really dim and you're kind of using just the ambient light illumination. But in this case, you can see here, as I zoom out to uh, the field and beyond, you know, this is still lighting up things 30 yards away, 40 yards away from me. Even the stuff, 20 yards from me is actually very well lit. Things actually super close, especially if you have it on the pencil beam instead of the flood, are over uh, saturated. You can't actually see anything. It's almost too bright. So I think really in most cases you want to keep it kind of in that flood state, you know, just broadcast the light wide so that you can see a lot of stuff. But if you're really looking out in the distance, that's when you want to kind of focus in that infrared beam so that you can kind of get that pencil beam and put it right on something. Now, I will say that's great because if you're using the optical zoom to zoom on to something that is far away, you're restricting your field of view. So having that pencil beam is perfect because it's still filling up what you can see. The other thing that I would say here is that it's a little bit of a ballet because you have that optical zoom and then the focus ring. And so your left hand is kind of doing a lot of stuff. And until you use this a lot, I don't think you're going to get really proficient. So for me, I was zooming in and then I was using my other finger to control the focus ring. And sometimes I noticed I would go the wrong way. So is there an advantage? Yes, the advantage here is that you're not losing resolution by focusing in, zooming in on things. But the disadvantage over some of these that just have an autofocus is that, you know, sometimes, especially if you're shooting video like this, you may actually take the picture and move it further out of focus than in focus right away. So there's probably gonna be a little delay. Now, if you use this a lot, you can probably become very, very quick at it. So one of the things I will say here is this is actually, because it's super dark, super useful. Like if I were actually out here looking for coyotes, I mean, there are many times I hear the coyotes out here, I see the foxes, the deer run through here. I have seen many a raccoon and other little critters. It's not so much right now high time for critters to be out because it's so cold but what you can see here is you know is there something out here that i have to be aware of you know if i were going camping or being out in the wilderness for a longer period of time i like this because it does two things one it gives me a much broader field of view so i can actually scan the horizon see a fairly wide swath of land and see what's out there as opposed to a flashlight especially when it's really dark you've just got that single beam and so you're kind of scanning back and forth really quick but here i can just look out there not disturb anything that might be out there not give away my position to people or animals or startle them or make them kind of scurry down and hide in the leaves or anything like this i can just kind of look out there hey i heard a, a noise a bump some steps i can take a look without disturbing anything giving away position and you know just see what's out there and stay safer to be really honest you know see if something's crawling down the tree towards you or uh, stalking you from the brush or something like that. So I really like that. So you can obviously see the things up close, the trees here, but and also pretty far away, which I really, really like. Now, the thing I wanna show you here is kind of what this does in an urban environment when we have a little bit of light from the houses. So let's take a look at that. All right, so back out to the front here, and I wanna look down the row of houses here. Now, this house here looks like it has just a bunch of security spotlights or something like that. But I will tell you what these are. They are Christmas lights. They are those little tiny LEDs that are up in the house, up on the deck. And what they look like here are brilliant spotlights. It almost looks like it's an outdoor patio for a restaurant. It is all lit up. But if you were to just look at this at the naked eye, all you would see are little tiny kind of dim lights. That's how much illumination it is doing. And you can see here, you know, it's true night vision. It is illuminating everything in the yard, which otherwise looks pitch black. In fact, you can see to the next house beyond the trees, the light peeking out from there. You can see the swing set two houses down, and that is really dark. I mean, I can't see that with the naked eye. And in fact, if I try to zoom in on that or focus the infrared light on it, you know, it kind of brings it into uh, even more detail here. So I can actually really see it very clearly. Now, if I were a little better on the focus ring, you know, you would probably see it in even more detail. But what I love about this is that's pretty far away, like two homes away at least. So that's pretty impressive to me. All right, one other thing that I want to show you here is I'm about to go back in my garage. The interior lights of my garage have gone out here. So 
got some lights on there, my bug light and stuff like that. And I can kind of make out the shapes there, but let's say you were worried about security, like what's going on inside your garage. Well, let me show you through the Wolf Sports night vision scope. Now I've turned on the night vision scope here. A couple things I want to tell you is that there is a little bit of magnification. You can see it actually looks a little bit closer. So even when you are on basically the 1X magnification or its lowest level of magnification, you are a little bit magnified over just kind of like what you can see with the naked eye. But in this case, what's really amazing is that there might be a couple of small little lights here, maybe um, a little bit of reflection off of that uh, bug light that I have in the garage. But otherwise it is totally dark and this is amazing because what's happening is here is the infrared illuminator is not only going in there but shining like a flashlight so i can actually do a security scan make sure i don't have animals or someone in there or something falling or whatever it might be but you can see actually off the license plates and off the bright work of the cars it's actually really reflecting back that's how bright it is but it's working like a really great security piece here too all right, so I wanna give you my final thoughts. I've been using these a while during the day, at night, and I really love them. First of all, if you wanna use these during the day, you certainly can, just kinda of like an electronic set of binoculars. So you definitely can look in there, see far away, you know, do your ornithology, check out the wildlife, what have you, go to your sports game, and you can look like a stormtrooper. Now, the best thing about this is that the night vision works very well. It actually is really great for observing things, and obviously you can store the video and the photos on the SD card, and so you can share those if you have interesting shots that you wanna share with people. But to me, what's really awesome about this is that it is really cheap, it's super easy to use, and basically 150 bucks, I have, night vision monoculars and scopes that I've had in the past that I've paid 700 for, 1400 for, and they work pretty well, but they are 10 times as expensive. And I'm not sure that the picture quality is better than this. So I'm really amazed at just how far these consumer products have come. Now, the one downside to this to me is that if you are gonna put these up to your eyes and walk with them like at night, they are not like those tactical night vision goggles that special forces use because your field of view especially when you are looking at things close like things down at your feet it's hard to see things there and it is hard to navigate because things are moving fast because it's a digital screen the fresh rate of the screen those hertz might not be as good as it might be on a gaming monitor or something like that so if you are trying to put these up to your eyes and navigate in a dark environment and walk around that's not what this is for but if you want to be able to see things you know those birds up there or that animal in the dark out in the distance these things are going to be awesome so if you want to see all that stuff and like i said look like you are from the future i will put a link to these in the description below peter von banda out we can discover more and explore so much deeper